You're not even mag- ask you like how are you? Me, me, <laughs> you're right now. Me just I try to stave off sickness. <laughs> God. <laughs> At this point in time, I'm just about staving off sickness. Yeah. You know, too much people have sickness around me. Both of us like yeah. we should just We are the last Keep our standing. guards up. Yeah. We- <laughs> Right now, we should have put on my mask. No, we should have put on my mask. <laughs> oh, <I'm going. laughs> it is all going on. Uh, yes, yeah, so yes. This is very sad, actually. We're saying RIP to David Minot, grandson of Sugar Minot, drowned over the holiday weekend at Somerset Falls in Portland. The 15 year old who traveled to Portland, Somerset Falls, on Sunday with three busloads of church brethren is believed to have drowned about 4 p.m. moments after he had completed a boat ride at the tourist attraction the Wilmers boys school he attended was in mourning as word spread of his passing also condolences to Chevene Besley who also joined over the holiday weekend days ahead of her 18th birthday yo this is this is so sad very very sad news to hear sad um, news. not just because you know he, he, he went to Wilmers as well um, 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 mm-hmm. um, but yeah, a young youth would just lose him life like that. Um, and what was supposed to be like a fun trip? Yeah, because yeah. me just I, I remember right now me almost drowned at that age um, because me go take all the fashion and go dive off in a deep end when I knew I couldn't swim. Wow. Um, yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, um, this young man wasn't so fortunate mm-hmm. um to to live past that so just i send our strengths up to the family the whole minor family right and of course um to the busy family as well yeah people um we know it was a holiday weekend yeah uh, with the holiday weekend people tend to you know do trips, do trips and, and these things yeah you just always just have to just keep your guard up on the road mm-hmm. and make sure that you know if it's that you're gonna take to the to the waters to the seas make sure that you know you know go off to go deep and you know you can't swim make sure say you have groups around you or groups of friends around you that, that can monitor you yeah even even so someone said falls too because i've been there but the falls did dry up at that mm. time but it made me wonder because the last time i saw like a tour guide and they had live vests so you know i'm really trying to wrap my head around what could have happened yeah. there because they have kids who go there as well but you know r.i.p to david and condolences to family and friends yeah most def all right, all right. so what's next job moving on so According to the Gleaner, over 12 customers of the National Commercial Bank Jamaica NTB have lost approximately $18 million in a smishing and fishing fraud attack over the last 10 days. Chopping's gone. Yeah. Dane Nicholson, NCB's manager, Special Investigations Fraud Prevention Unit, confirmed the development with the Gleaner. So... How the fraud worked, customers were sent emails and text messages to click on links claiming to be from NCB. Personal information was given to the scammers who would call them disguising themselves as NCB workers, asking the unsuspecting customers to give a token code that customers are required to input to access certain services. The scammers use the code to add themselves as beneficiaries on the customer's accounts after which they transferred funds wow this is ghosting our wagon wow um, uh, uh, and when you hear them thing yeah uh, you just wonder if it's that uh, you, you wonder how much caught up are law enforcement with white collar crimes like this because mm-hmm. i think that them thing uh, happen a lot yeah yeah, yeah. right now scotia not look that bad yeah <laughs> <laughs> you have the reputation <laughs> <laughs> it works back in like, world. NCB. Um, but yeah, it's 18 million. 18 million. Uh, it's rather unfortunate. And it people can fall prey to them things so easy. I just what they mean nearly get catching or, or something like this. Or somebody um DM me and ask me a question and mm-hmm. say if me, if me get it, um but I win fifteen hundred dollars. So some answer the question easy. So okay, yeah, boy. All you have to do now is just put this email as your email. You uh, <laughs> Wait, uh, like me nearly wow. okay. Really? I said, I said, you had that me. moment. I, I had the moment. You owe to all persons. Yo, Jessica, I said, 1500 wouldn't be too bad right now, <laughs> you know? 
I'm just, I did I, so I did say, yo, wait a minute. <laughs> I just block the person. Yeah, the Will I answer question too? Yeah, these these phishing s- schemes. Oh my god! It, 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 them deadly man. If you don't really know what to look out for, yeah. you can be caught in this. So people be on a guard with these sort of things. Open the knowledge about these happenings and how you can protect yourself from these things happening to you and protecting yourself from people sneezing beside her <laughs> as well. <laughs> uh, allergies, man. Uh, allergies. Just keeping the guard up all around, people. All around. Yeah. Yeah, this is sad, man. And then, so, because some people probably don't know, so the fishing, and why do they have so much fishing? Yeah, like smishing, smishing and fishing. fishing. Yeah. So fishing is when they send you a link via email. And you click on that. Yeah. And then smishing is through text messages. So they send you a text. Mm. And then you click on the link and So this was a, a case of a double one. Yeah. Gotta be careful out here, peeps. <laughs> careful, careful. Speaking of being careful, let's go to a woman who wasn't so careful on the road. Huh. <laughs> so the gleaner spoke with Nicole Williams, the woman who was caught on camera engaging the police in a high-speed chase recently. On May 24, 2022, she appeared in court to answer to charges of dangerous driving, failure to stop at the request of a constable, disobeying a tragic s- traffic signal sorry this is being constable signal and resisting arrest she told the gleaner i'm not here to be a victim because i know what i did i accept what i did honestly i don't know what happened that day i really don't know if that day would come back it would not happen she shared that she recently lost her child's father and her sister who left behind six children she said that the day before the incident she went to seek counseling at her work who have been very supportive of her since the incident. She shared she's gotten death, death, <laughs> tongue twister, <laughs> death threat. There we go. And that her insurance company immediately dropped her following the video. She's to return to court on June 26th. 22nd when it is expected that she will enter a guilty plea and will be allowed to drive for six to 12 months. Hmm. That is will or will not. Will, will or will not. Yeah. Get that that that, that <laughs> anyways um miss williams i am sorry that you lost um your, your sister is it that she, and she lost her child's father, father. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry for that but that's still no excuse for do the things them that you done this is such a classic female thing to do I mean, they'll Excuse go into me. their field. It is. Excuse so me. Like, well, I was on my period that day. And I, was, and I, and I was like, yo, none of that. No, <laughs> it no matter. Yeah, if I say, yo, you nearly kill people on the road. You know? Anybody would I try to make excuse after that. Oh, no, oh, no, I go going at the feelings, out. man. Oh, no, I going at the feelings. And, to, oh, to try and pull I wasn't away. Having, I wasn't having a good day. And, oh, I'm <laughs> going at this. I want to lose that and that. It's no excuse. Yeah, yeah. For you do so. Yeah, it's, it. I I don't run the insurance company for Japan as well. This was caught on video. Yeah, it went viral. You know, she's, she's, you reverse in a uh, in a police vehicle and then denied it when it was caught on camera. We saw, like we saw it. You, you reverse. We hear the song. Look, <laughs> we didn't hear it. Look, <laughs> in, 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 in the audible. <laughs> right? She didn't Georgia. want to come out of the vehicle. Yeah. Like everything just went so mm. with that whole situation. She's remorseful. No, um, of course. She but is. I mean, you should. This shouldn't happen to you at yeah. all. All you had to do was pull over. That's all. Just stop. Other like, people no out there. No matter what going on in your life, mm-hmm. you're just like gonna make it worse when you have a high speed chase going on. Like, yeah. stop. Just stop. And it would have probably just be a one little ticket on your gun. But no, it's several charges. Yeah, it could have been worse for her and for others on the road. On the road too. Yeah, other news jobs. Yeah, so in entertainment news, Shabdan, who was freed of gun-related charges on April 7th, once again faced the law in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Criminal Court for a separate case of bribery. Yes, I went to court today, but the case was put off until the 9th of June, as the judge stated that additional information was needed from Indicom over the processing of my car as police fired a shot over my head and it damaged my vehicle he told dancer 
today shortly after court the popular dancehall producer is accused of offering a police officer two million dollars to get rid of an illegal gun in a case he had been previously charged with he was charged with a breach of the corruption prevention act section 14 subsection 2 which is considered a greater offense than attempted bribery though the producer is in good spirits he fears for his life and contends his innocence in all cases when police stopped me they told me to turn on the roof light and i did it they said to hold up my hands and i did it that was when i heard a shot so when i went down on the ground and told them don't shoot that is why my attorney donahue martin is asking about that is what my attorney donahue martin is asking about in mm-hmm. regards for a report being made yeah i'm um, not much to say about this other than let's see how it plays out i will say though what happened to um the lawyer that in the post snorlax where him there where is he i don't know i don't name the mention it says dana you is is the lawyer now the new lawyer yeah it looks so mm. i'll ask dana you about it yeah yeah why not i ask him but it's very interesting that snorlax the lawyer yeah. was nowhere put out yeah. if his energy is any indication into the effort when I put in film client I'd be sweating bullets if I was sure that. I'm just saying I'm just saying it, it might very well just be a very good lawyer uh, I'm just going off of the energy when I'm displaying that video yeah, you know yeah well let's see how this whole thing plays out I'm sure um Sir P is going to have a feel there with this. So let's see.